guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how to make this autumn card. So I'm taking the Sculpted Edge 6x6 six six inch card. I'm going to be taking the Cozy Cardigan by Whimsy Stamps, which is a time for tea. And I'm also taking the Receding Block Stencil by Neat Tangled. Everything I used is linked in my description. So I'm going to use Rainbow Stock and Ladybug for the background. I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with this card. I just knew I wanted to use the stamp. So basically I went through all my stamps the other day to see which ones I've not used yet and I have quite a few stamps that I have not used yet so I need to use them. Most of them are Christmassy ones so you know it's totally fine but obviously some of them aren't and I want to get them used uh, sometime this year. So yeah I'm just doing some basic ink blending like <laughs> probably the most basic you'll ever see. Um, Even though I put my tape down to stop the stencil from moving it did move quite a bit and as you can see it didn't ink blend too well like you can definitely tell but it didn't really bother me too much so it's up to you what kind of effect you want um but yeah so i'm just going to remove all the tape and i'm going to stamp the image onto some cartridge paper and i'm just going to do some coloring in so I'll insert a time frame, I'll speed up the process and add music. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Once I coloured everything, I cut it out and I'm just using the leaves from Thanks A Lade stamp and I'm just going to die cut all those out as well and then I bring back in the card base. So like I said, all the colours I use will be linked in my description guys. Um, and for some reason I filmed me die cutting. I thought I paused the video but obviously not so you'll see quite a lot of blank spaces so I will cut this out and hopefully it'll speed up. And there we go, magically everything is done and no blank screens. So I'm just going to bring in everything and work out the layout. So I'm using the sentiment from Swing Swinging By, which is an Eat and Tangled. Um, I really need to buy some more sentiment stamps. So let me know down in the comments what your favourite sentiment stamps are. You know, um, I do a lot of cards, but I never know what sentiment to go with. Especially if it's not a birthday card, I always struggle. So yeah, I'm just going to take... The hello from the swinging by stamp and i'm just going to use my black ink to stamp that i was going to heat emboss but i changed my mind i didn't really want to faff about with that because um in the next couple of days i'm going to be using heat embossing for glow in the dark so yeah <laughs> anyways so this was actually the only card i filmed the second week of august so i really didn't really do much um but yeah, so 
I'm going to bring in all the little leaves and I'm just going to work out where I want them and then I'm going to glue those down using multi matte medium and yeah I just think this card is so cute um, I love the little girl but there wasn't many cards that I found with this stamp set and I have quite a few stamps by Whimsy and again I can never find inspiration for them but I found one card that somebody made and I've linked it in the description guys so you'll have my Instagram and then underneath the inspiration of this. So the colour coordination for the, the girl's outfit is what I used as inspiration. I just went for something very similar. Um, but yeah, for some reason a lot of the whimsy stamps that I've purchased um, don't seem to have many cards made with them. So I don't know if I'm maybe looking in the wrong places or whatnot. I'm part of a whimsy stamp facebook group and i can't find anybody who has these stamps um somebody commented saying like they are quite old so some of these stamps like came out in like 2015 you know so i can kind of understand not a lot of people having them but i just can't understand not a lot of cards being made with it so i really don't know anyways i'm gonna bring in some 3d foam adhesives and then some raindrops for the embellishments i brought in wink of stella to add something to the leaves and I also brought in my Signer white gel pen to add some white detailing. Um, that's pretty much it for the card, guys. If you enjoy, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and follow me over on my social medias. Also, I do apologize. I always say this in my videos to comment down below, but for some reason, my comments turn themselves off, and I just don't know why it does it. So I always have to go into my YouTube settings to allow comments and that's the first thing I do when I post a video at 3 p.m. on that day but for some reason it turns itself off again for a couple of hours so I really don't know why it does it um, maybe I can look into it or if you guys know let me know down in the comments um, it would be really helpful but for some reason they just don't like comments but yeah but that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah I'll see you in my next video stay safe and happy crafting